has strictly come dancing's most cutting judge, famous for finding fault in even the most mind-blowing performance. But it's no wonder Craig Revel Horwood doesn't suffer fools given what he went though to get his own big break. Raised in the sleepy mining town of Ballarat, Australia, his father Phil was a Royal Australian Navy lieutenant and an alcoholic. My dad can be the nicest, most charming man, but when he drinks that person disappears, Craig told the Daily Mail of his dad, who died in 2015. I am still on speaking terms with him and I still love him, but we all have to accept that has chosen alcohol. Determined to get out of his hometown, at 17 Craig became a rent boy, exchanging sexual favours with a major Australian TV star in return for cash for dance lessons in Melbourne. I have to refer to him as Mr X for legal reasons. Basically I got favours from him for sexual favours, so I likened that to being a rent boy, only because I didn't feel anything for this character, he explained in his 2008 autobiography, All Balls and Glitter, My Life. He had been working as a chef, which he hated, and saw the agreement with the then 43-year-old unnamed star as an opportunity. He paid for my dance tuition which was brilliant as it got me out of my hometown and to Melbourne where I trained. It was just a business deal, but I don't actually know if he saw it that way. I didn't actually ask. I didn't want to know. Speaking to the Cheltenham Literary Festival, said the whole chapter had changed his life for the better. It was like a casting couch so it was the best thing that ever happened to me, he said. I suppose that could be compared to a lady getting engaged and getting a great big, sparkling Tiffany ring, and then breaking off the engagement but keeping the ring. In the White Ranging book, Craig also told how he funded himself from 18 onwards by performing as a drag queen called Laddish. He toured the whole of Australia as his alter ego but decided to kill her off when he moved to the UK in the late 1980s. Craig also dished on his ill-fated marriage to wife Jane, who knew he identified as bisexual when they tied the knot. But when the passion dried up, he said Jane cheated with a mutual friend and they subsequently divorced. I was young and stupid when I got married and I suppose I wanted to see if I could live a normal life, but she started going off with other guys, so it came to an end. I believe in monogamy, he said. If I love someone, I will stay with them. But what can you do when your wife strays? Tell her it's okay, and encourage her to go for it? Or do you address that there is something going wrong? Some people can live that way, but I'm just not one of them. The divorce side of things was hideous, but she's happily married now. Who do you think will win Strictly Come Dancing this year? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Read more Strictly Come Dancing 2022 Hamza's heartbreaking comment James breaks down Hamza tops Strictly fans board Tony and Katya addressed spat.